support all the different ways. So for instance, Popple, actually the way that they started, and it's P-O-P-L. Uh, just call them up and tell them your situation and say, hey, this is it. And if you want to sue, go ahead and sue. All right. That's the way to do it. Um, relocated out of her apartment and she received a bill from the landlord. Cases where your tree came from. You don't know if it was treated with any pesticides or chemicals that could potentially harm you if ingested. So I'm sure if you have a natural. Prices have just been all over the place in general um, over the past couple of years, but this this price cut is Hello? pretty big. I'm trying to see if there's something. EV. I think that there's a lot of cars out there to consider, and things just continue to get better with EVs. I mean, here in Los Angeles, we're all based. I mean, EVs. You want to get a TV that's going to look great for movies as well, and, and anti-glare coating can really help when you're watching during the day. We're talking to Caleb Dennison. He is the uh, editor at large for Digital Trends uh, on social media at Caleb underscore. That was 
was a bit scary. What the hell is going on? All right, finally some di direction on the traffic, which we needed freaking 30 minutes ago. The always on headlights strike again. a neat little bounce right there. I gotta want to get a, just a view of this. Yep. <laughs> It was like a double twisty roundabout. roundabout. I know, and what did I say? It's a wonder people will get lost there every day. People yeah. navigate those, <laughs> but you will go up there. Oh, it's a double helix DNA. It was cloudy. I didn't know where the sun was. I was heading directly west. I thought I was going east. That's very nice. Thank you very much, Pat. So I certainly appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm curious to try yams. We'll get, we'll get to that coming. We didn't have yak news yesterday, and uh, they were the original. Let's see. <laughs> I don't think you did not go after anybody, but I. <laughs> changing in creative, you got the, the, the countdown has already fucking started on him. I mean, I, wonder, I, don't, I don't want to interrupt you, but I want to read something, Anzo. Uh, bro, this guy hates freaking Melton. He's the one that has sent us Melton clips for years. I want to read you what he said. but these days you can't make it without capital. Money, seven and a half percent of the profits. What profits, Midget? You're gonna have trouble selling off that scraggly herd you got. You'll never see an offer like this again. 
I'm giving you a chance for once to ride with the winner. No half-breed married to a white woman would have been better off married to her own kind. He's going to get rich off me. I'll just bet she likes it. <laughs> Living in a shack, eating them refried beans. <laughs> D. Joe, how long have I been drinking here? Just the war, I guess. First time you ever gave me anything in an Indian glass. I suppose it is. Isn't this place good enough for you, Shasta? Always has been, Nate. Well. How long have you known me? Fifteen years, off and on. You ever known me to shirk? You always did your share. You ever known me to lie, cheat, welch on a bet? Nope. I ever double-cross you or anybody you know? Nope. Then why are you bull-ragging me? The feeling around here... just don't favor independence. I was plenty good enough when I worked for Heartline. You own anything? Nope. Neither do I. You mean to tell me, Mr. Strickland, this jury still cannot reach a verdict? This is a very simple case of assault with intent to the commit... The jury... Enough to convict. Don't see it that way, Your Honor. Mr. Strickland, the defense counsel argued to move this trial to the county seat at considerable expense. I should lock you jurors in the Paradise Hotel until you agree on a verdict. You've done that already, Judge. Won't do you any good. This jury is well and truly hung. Uh, case dismissed. Will you do this for me? Major, sometimes a man has to clean out his own privy. I guess I'm quitting you. All right, Elroy. How do you want to be remembered? Let's go home. 